Well, hello everyone, hello. We're looking at the Oligtron 4060E. I've been messing with it some more. And uh, what's going on? I have a transistor with the center leg in the first divider socket, the slowest divider. And the two outside legs are going from the plus row of the power section to the fourth divider. And um, not sure what that's doing, but presumably the transistor switches and it closes that connection when the voltage is high. I've got this big capacitor here going from <laughs> divider seven over to the inverted saw, which is the last row on the end here. I've got that green capacitor going from divider number eight to the res or the resistor input of the oscillator section. I've got that white LED that's going from the inverted saw to the cap, the capacitor row on the oscillator. And I'm also taking the signal with the jumper wire from the cap row of the oscillator out to jack number one. Uh, jack number two I'm using as an input and that resistor right there is carrying the signal from this LFO to the resistor row of the oscillator and that is affecting the frequency of the 460E oscillator. Now the output jack one is going into Bastel Cinnamon and I am using as a CV channel B of Rampage to control the cutoff frequency of that filter and Rampage is, let's see, I'm inverting it using the Bifaco ABC and it is one, two, three, four, it is this divider number four jack on the divider expansion here. And then divider 10 is controlling position on microburst and the output from the filter is going into microburst. And if I turn it up so you can hear it. fairly simple patch really um, but it's doing pretty complicated things anyway this is just uh, another chapter in my 
explorations messing with the Electron 4060. It's uh, that sound honestly kind of surprised me. The 4060's raw output is very, uh, it's, it's real squarey, sort of chip tune. Let me see if I can uh, do some quick adjustment here and perhaps set this up so you can hear that. Doodly doo, I will take outputs from this mixer and plug them into my passive output mixer down here which the output from this is going to my recording mixer and then if I let's see I unplug the signal that's going into cinnamon and plug it in here You don't hear anything. Why? Oh, because this is turned down. Processed output. Of the 4060 because it's using a digital logic chip the outputs gonna be very square wave and uh, I stuck it in this filter really just to soften it up and I thought that sounded pretty good And then I stuck it in the microburst to give it some space, you know, make it big. Thought that turned out kind of cool. Anyway, thanks to my patrons for making all of this possible. And uh, I have music on a Bandcamp site. Some of it's pretty good. You can listen to it for free up to three times there's a couple of tracks on there that are free forever but most of them it'll ask you for a dollar after the third play but uh, you certainly can listen to a lot of stuff before you gotta shell out any dough so go check it out and thanks for watching i'll catch you next time